I use them like once a week every now and then to um, you know keep up with my exercise and then in it's just so convenient. Portland resident Annette Johnson says the expansion of the bike town system in the city of Portland is crucial for low income people. Because it also gives people an opportunity, especially low income, to be able to ride and get exercise and go back and forth instead of standing there waiting on the bus all day. The expansion is what brought the Portland Bureau of Transportation, Commissioner Joanne Hardesty, and leaders from Bike Town together this morning. Peabot says Park Rose, St. John's, Cathedral Park, Mill Park, and Hazelwood are just a few of the neighborhoods where the expansion will take place. In the next few weeks, officials will identify exact locations within those neighborhoods where the bikes will go. Well, uh, North and East Portland has the least access to affordable quality quality public transit and so it's really important that people know that they have access to transportation they can afford in their neighborhood. Some bikes in the expansion areas are already ready for use. Peabot conducted a survey last summer with Bike Town. Over 600 people gave their opinions about what neighborhoods the bikes should go in. There's currently 1,500 bikes in the system. Each station varies in size and has anywhere from 6 to 20 bikes. These e-bikes can go about 20 miles on a charge. Uh, we'd love to expand more. Uh, we, we will see uh, how this works out, and so we're always working with community and figuring out uh, the best places where we can um, expand the system. It's an option where you can just get on the bikes, go where you need to go, don't have to spend a lot of money. And there is a fee to use the bikes, but if you have a Bike Town membership, it's a reduced fee. And there is a program called Bike Town for All, which also reduces the fee for low income people. In Portland, I'm Bryant Clerkley, KGW News.